Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I am going to do tutorial number 36, which is uh, one topic is convert string to number in Power BI, and the second topic is how to do substring, uh, basically, how to get a part of the string field in Power BI. So, these are the two topics, main topics that I am going to cover in this story tutorial, and as subtopics, I will cover how to use Power Query Editor to do substring, how to use Power Query Editor to convert string to number, how to use dex function to do substring, how to use dex function to convert string to number, how to use left, right and mid dex functions and how to use value dex function. So these are the 6 subtopics I am going to cover in this tutorial. So let's go to the tutorial and see how we can do this. So as you can see in my data set, I have salesperson, item, sales value, sales date and feedback. So you can download this uh, excel sheet. I have uploaded the link in the description section. So first thing is that we want to get this feedback only, we have to remove the mark sign and we have to get the 3 or 1 or the numeric value uh, from this string. So that will be our first task. So let's say from by using the dax function how we can do that for that uh, first we create a new column so I would rename the column as uh, feedback number so here first I use the left function left so as you can see returns the specific number of characters from the starting of the text string. So I have to give the text that is sheet 1 feedback and the number of character that I want is 1. Right? So if I enter it, as you can see now I have extracted only the numeric value of this string and uh, get it to a, another column. So that is the way by using the dax function how we can extract strings right so now by using the mid dax function we'll see how we can do that for so that so we have to go here and we have to create a new column I would write the column as feedback number so I would say here mid mid so then I have to give the string sheet feedback and then starting position would be 1 and number of characters also 1 because I want 1 right so if I enter so as you can see same as the left dex function I can get the same output by using the mid function as well also when it comes to string substring uh, method so uh, we can use right function as well then what will happen is it will take from right side to it will take the uh, string it will extract the string that you want right so the next part would be how to convert this feedback number into number format so now it is in the string format for that it is very easy so we have to just use value dex function so as you can see the value dex function what it does is convert the text string that represent a number to a number so very easy so now this is representing this mid this part is representing a string now I am converting it to a number that's it right if I do that right so now it will automatically convert into number so extra a string and converting it to a number by using the dex function is one of the method that we can do so next uh, step would be how to we check how to use the query power query editor to do the same thing right to go to the power query editor so you have to go home and select transform data transform data right and you have to select the column here right so now you have to click the transform tab and here there's a function called extract 
so you can go and extract so there are different options that you can uh, see here so I want the first character so I will use the first character here right the count that I want is one so I will add one here and I said ok right so as you can see now this is being extracted as I want uh, so uh, that will be the first step how to get the string and make it substring right so the next task would be to convert the data type of this feedback column for that so there's an option called data type so you have to go there and select this data type as you want decibel number whole number I will set whole number right so now as you can see that is being converted to a decimal number or the whole number as well so now you go home and say close and apply right so as you can see now feedback also converted by using the power query editor so we have converted our feedback uh, also to a decimal number right so this is the way uh, there are two ways I have explained how to convert uh, string to a number and also how to extract strings uh, or how to use the substring in Power BI so thanks for watching my video and if you are visiting my channel for the first time please subscribe to my channel and uh, please uh, join my community and thank you very much and uh, keep in touch